welcome to another video on Learners Product Tutorials. And in this video, we will explore how to create a personalized student registration form in your online academy and get to know your students much better. So let's get started. To access the student data form, let us first go to your admin dashboard and click on users. Now click on custom fields option. And this opens up the custom fields page. You can use the create new fields button to create your own data fields like student goals or student date of birth, etc. Let us click on the existing field, full name and explore the various attributes in this field. As you can see, full name is a field to capture the student name. The field name is full name. If you want, you can change it to something like student name or learner name. Since the student name will be entered as a text, the field type will show the value as text. For a name field, you can enter a rule that the student name should be at least 3 characters long and at most 50 characters long. You can set specific validation rules for each field type. The placeholder is a text that tells your student what to enter within the data field. For example, a placeholder for a name field could be Please enter your full name. Next is the error message. A proper error message for a name field could be Your name needs to be between 3 and 50 characters in length. Lastly, you can make this field mandatory by checking the Is Mandatory field option. This means students won't have an option to skip this field. Same way, to just display this field in your form, click on the Enable field checkbox. Once you have entered the details in the relevant fields, click on the Create New Custom Fields button to create the new data field. You can use the same approach to create other fields like email ID, phone number and city. Next, let us use the field type values other than text to capture more personalized student information. To do that, let us again click on the Create Custom Fields. Enter your goals within the field name. Select the field type as drop-down. On the right side, you can enter the below student goals. For example, get 90% mark in the board exam. And once done, click on the Add Option button to enter the new student goal. Now, enter the pass with a score above 70 in the field value and again click on Add Option. Lastly, enter pass with a score above 35. After you have entered the goals, give a proper placeholder like what is the goal you want to achieve. You can select this field as mandatory and also enable this field. Once you are done, click on the create new custom field button to enable the changes. You can use the drop down options to create more sub options. To do that, click on the update field button and confirm the changes. Now, click on the Add Child in the first option. In the field name, let us enter Mark's score. In the field type, let us select Numeric. Since the minimum marks will be 0, let us enter 0 in the minimum value text field. Let us enter 100 in the maximum value field. Next, within the placeholder, let us enter what was your final exam score in math? And for the error message, let us enter marks should be between the values 0 to 100. I can click on enable field. Now, let me click on the create new custom field button to add this field. Next, let us ask the student a simple question like whether they like maths or not. To do that, 
let us click on the create new field button now enter a field name do you like math next select the field type as radio in the field values you can enter options yes and click on add option in the next field value you can enter option no and hit on the enter key and within the placeholder you can give a text like tell us if you like maths make this field as mandatory if you wish to and select the enable field option once done click on the create new custom fields button lastly you can even ask your students to enter their date of birth to do that click on the create new custom field button now enter the date of birth within the field name select the field type as date and within the validation rule enter the start and the end date now enter a proper placeholder value and error message and click on the create new fields button so with this we have learned how to use a text numeric date drop down and radio field types lastly click on save changes to save all the fields you have created now students also have an option to skip the registration form so if you don't want them to skip the registration enter the value 0 within the allow learner to skip counts up to text box click on the hamburger icon on the side to drag and drop the fields as you like and once you're satisfied click on the enable button with this we have created the new student registration form now let us see how this looks from the student side you know that let me go ahead and log in as a student as you can see as a student i can view all the fields that have been created students will see your registration form soon after they sign up as a student i can enter the values in these fields and click on the submit button to download this data as an admin head over to your admin dashboard and click on the reports tab here you can select the learners tab you will be able to view all the custom fields you have created in the learners tab click on the three dots on the right side to add or remove columns from the view once you are satisfied with the view click on the exports button the student details will be sent to your admin email id click on the downloads button to download all the student details so with this we have learned to create a student registration form to capture both the basic and personalized student details i hope this video was super helpful to you use the power of student registration forms to know your students better and help your students achieve better results in the comment section below comment yes if you already use student registration forms and comment no and let us know why if you aren't using student registration forms if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications on course creation and marketing tips so until next time see you take care and stay safe.